I want to share with you in closing a true story that I think ties all of our discussion this morning together. It's about a school in Brooklyn called Shush. Has anybody ever heard of it? Shush is located in Brooklyn, New York. And it's a school that caters to learning disabled children. And some children, they remain in Shush their whole lives, and then others are mainstreamed back into the conventional school system. This is something I got from Dr. Wayne Dyer of uh, Power of Intention, and I've studied it, just it's uh, pretty impactful. At a Shush fundraiser dinner, the father of a Shush child delivered a speech that would never be forgotten by all who attended. After praising the school and its dedicated staff, he burned out and cried, Where's the perfection of my son Shia? Everything God does is with perfection, but my child, he cannot understand things as other children do. My child cannot remember facts or figures as other children do. Where's God's perfection in my son? And of course, obviously the audience was shocked, dismayed by the pain and anguish that he was going through as he shared that. And then the father said, I believe that when God brings a child like mine into the world, the perfection he seeks is the way people react to this child. And then he told the following story. He told about walking down through his Brooklyn neighborhood with his son Shy, 11 years old, learning disabled, and they walked by a baseball park where some kids were playing baseball. And the boy looked up to his dad and says, Dad, you think they'd let me play? The father just winced. Um, that's not going to happen, probably. He says, but if they did, what would that do for my child? So he went up to the fence, the kids were there, waiting for their turn to bat, and he says, Would you let my son play? And the kid looks, looks around for some support from the other little like kids do, they did. He says, Sure. He says, It's the last of the eighth inning. We only got one more inning. We're behind by six runs. He says, Sure. He says, We'll give him a glove, we'll put him in the field. And dad looks at Shy, you can play in the kids. He's just let up. So he went in, well, came to the bottom of the night, and they came back. They started coming back. They were only two runs behind. They got, they had three men on base, two out the bottom of the night. They're all baseball people. Bases are lost. And the shy was turning back. And the father said, oh. Bucky went up to the plate, took a bat, never held a baseball bat, didn't even know how old it was. Stood up there, the pitcher looked down looked around, took the ball and kind of moved forward, and the underhand saw it as a kid. The kid just had no idea what to do. And of course, obviously, he didn't hit it. So the kid came out of the dugout, and he went out behind Shy, he stood behind him, took the bat, and he held it up like this to him. And the pitcher saw it, and he moved real, real close, and he lobbed it, and they hit it. And it started rolling back to the pitcher. Now, you know, he can do two things. Throw it home plate, the game's over. Bases were loaded, or throw up the first. Run, Shia, run the first! The kids start hollering. Shia's never running, starts running. Kids run along, the pitcher takes it up, looks at home plate, and he throws it over the first baseman's head. Shia runs the first, first couple runs come in. Run the second, Shia, run the second! They tell him, he runs the second. The right fielder picks up, says, man, I can throw this kid out. We saw what was happening. He throws it way over the third baseman's head. Shia turns the second. Shortstop runs right. This. Come on, Shia. Touch on third. This is the opposing strokes. Touch third base. Touches it. Starts to run in. Now all the other team, the other eight players come running in. Run, Shia. Run, run. Touch home plate. He touches home plate. All 18 kids gathered around him, picked him up, put him on their shoulder, and made him a hero for that one moment. And the father said to the audience, with tears streaming down his face, he says, that day, those 18 boys experienced 
God's love to perfection. You experience, God bless you, not again.